the primal power of all life creation, does not forgive Hamsa ever at once, and it does not punish Hamsa ever at once, because it merely gives its laws and recommendations which you shall follow or disregard according to your free will, so that you yourselves decide what is correct or incorrect for you and your nature attitude, according to the laws and recommendations of the primal power of all life creation from which it is given that you think and act subject to your own responsibility and you yourselves influence and form your feelings, your inner world consciousness, and psyche, so that you may forgive yourselves or punish yourselves according to your own considerable discretion, as is taught to you by the true prophets, to whose teaching many of you are traitors. However, your betrayal will last for a long time far into the time to come future, beyond the new time when, following a long interruption in the line of the prophets, the last true prophet brings you the source book, of the true writing of the teaching of the prophets he it is who will make the things of the teaching clear to you as has never been achieved before in the fullness and ampleness quantity, so that you may not say that no bringer of joyful news and no warner has come to you and therefore it will be that in the new time, in truth, the last true prophet from the line of Nocodemian, the originator of the true prophets, will come to you as a bringer of joyful news, but also as a warner and his words and writings will be as powerful as never before so that you may finally grasp and differentiate understand between the truth of the teaching of the prophets and the untruth of the teachings of the false prophets and their priests and servants of gods and servants of tin gods who drive you into beliefs assumptions of their godliness religion, and who enslave you in your thoughts and feelings and in your inner world consciousness. And truly, all true prophets from the line of Nocodemian who have gone and taught before, they told you that you shall turn to the teaching of truth and the grace of the laws and recommendations of creation as individuals and as peoples and truly, none of the prophets from the line of Nocodemian are ever envoys of gods and tin gods, but they are children of people of your kind human children, from your midst who, through their own willingness and diligence activity as it witness, learn their knowledge, and their wisdom and everything associated with it through their own power, which stays alive however through a spirit body spirit form, which is ancient of days age old, immeasurably eons, older than yours. And truly, on your world since time immemorial, true prophets have only come about appeared from the line of Nocodemian, from whom true instructors took the teaching of the prophets and taught it. But these were also persecuted and slandered, calumniated, and exposed to persecution by people of your kind human beings, just like the true prophets themselves. The teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life and therefore the teaching of the truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal power of all existence creation is given for all peoples of the world so that no one people shall have more than another and none shall be disadvantaged and as you enter a country, you may listen to the same teaching of the prophets and follow it so that you do not have to turn your back on the foreign country and you do not have to turn around as ones who are lost. And if a country contains a boisterous and almighty people in which Gevalt is practiced on strangers or in which strangers are limited in their freedom and in their knowledge, then do not enter this country so that you are not exposed to Gevalt terror and coercion. Do not enter the country or move into its cities until its people and its authority have moderated and welcome you in benevolence and friendship or when they leave their country. Do not enter a house or a country unless its inhabitants are endowed with kind-heartedness. Therefore, you shall only go through the gate and move forwards if you are certain without doubt of being welcomed in benevolence and are sure of trust. And if you, whether man or woman, enter a house or a country then greet in a seemly commensurate way those who are within it and if you are wearing a cover on your head as you enter and at the greeting, then remove it from your head and thereby show that you have freedom and dignity, therefore you shall do the same and if you have covered your face, then remove the covering when you enter a house or a country so that the others may recognize, see, 
your uprightness and cover your head and your face from the light rays of the sun against the weather influences of the weather and against sand and storm so that your skin and your head brain are not harmed and do not sicken but never cover your head before gods and tin gods and before people of your kind human beings who demand the same from you because it is disgraceful to have to cover your head in submission and therefore do not cover your face before people of your kind fellow human beings because covering the face means concealing evil defilement or non right therefore go forth and wear your covering for your head and your face if the condition situation equals sun weather conditions sandstorm demands it yet do not allow yourselves to fall into submissiveness through wearing coverings for your head and face and whatever the condition position situation Consider that only you have might over yourselves and only you determine which path you want to take and which deeds you want to carry out, and therefore which thoughts and feelings you want to have truly, no other people of your kind fellow human beings, can have might over you if you do not voluntarily allow it to happen, therefore keep a distance between yourselves and people of your kind fellow human beings so that you always remain yourselves and solely exert might over yourselves, and that you do not fall into servitude bondage, or slavery to people of your kind fellow human beings. And wherever you go on earth, make sure that you do not wander over senselessly for many years, but that you become settled in a place and make efforts work, where you can spend your evening of life and therefore make sure that you do not wander about for 40 years or more on earth with the result that you do not amass save up what is possible for you and that you do not have any provision support in old age and therefore make sure that you do not settle down amongst an insurrectional people so that you will not be troubled in your life or at the evening of your old age evening of life truly make sure that you work hard in your life and set aside save up what is possible for you so that you will have a sufficiency at the evening of your old age evening of life and will not have to starve because consider that if you have daughters and sons then these cannot look after you in your old age because they go their own ways and raise found their own clan family therefore you must support yourselves in old age supply yourselves with what is necessary and be righteous conscientious in all things so that you are esteemed amongst all people of your kind human beings so it does not happen that one amongst you is accepted considered by people of your kind fellow human beings whilst another is rejected because you will be assessed and treated by people of your kind fellow human beings according to your knowledge according to your deeds according to your virtues and according to your wisdom and if others reach out their hands towards you to kill you, to do harm or to slander calumniate you, then do not do the same to them and do not reach out your hands against them to kill them, to do them harm or to slander calumniate them. Because you shall neither kill in degeneracy nor bring about harm in degeneracy, neither shall you bring forth slanders calumnies out of hatred or rationality and forgive the stalkers or persecutors who want to kill you, to do harm to you or to slander calumniate, and to cry deny, you, because they are poor in their inner world consciousness, evil in their thoughts and feelings, confused in their endeavor striving, and therefore depraved in their considerations reflecting therefore forgive your stalkers or persecutors, and strive to inform them of their false doing and instruct them with regard to the laws and recommendations of the primal power creation so that they change alter to the truth and so that peace will exist between you and them and that you may go forth safely along your way and you shall not voluntarily and falsely out of false love or false friendship take and bear the blame and atone for something that others have heaped upon themselves so that no fire of guilt may kindle within you within which you will burn whilst the malefactors lawbreakers enjoy great reward for their guilt and their infamous actions crimes and do not take the blame of others upon yourselves in return for gratification payment so that you will have to atone for it whilst the guilty ones enjoy their freedom and great reward